is the basis of most modern buildings. And while concrete is the world's most used building material, it is prone to cracking, and engineers are always trying to improve its durability. And scientists in Ecuador say they have done just that with help from a rather surprising ingredient. Dan Collins explains. Any engineer will tell you the problem with concrete is that it cracks. Now there's a concrete which has the solution mixed right in, using a living ingredient. Just add water to spores in the mixture and that quickly releases bacteria. Once the bacteria is really alive, they need food, which we have included into the particles. And then they can process oxygen from the water and the food, and then the process leads to the precipitation of calcium carbonate in the cracks. In other words, the limestone producing bacteria can fix the cracking as the damage occurs. Add a local Ecuadorian fiber to reinforce this fusion of microbiology and civil engineering and you have a highly sustainable building material. Our idea is to develop a concrete that will not need maintenance or will need very little maintenance. So we can save costs, but also we can uh, in, increase the, the lifespan of the, of the material. A pilot project is testing it out on a section of this canal that supplies water to 1,600 farming families. The added bacteria makes it a little more expensive than ordinary concrete. The normal concrete we use here costs less, but once you see the benefits of the self-healing concrete, the investment pays off. The self-healing concrete should prevent water leakage, which can reduce yields and lead to failed harvests. Guayaquil's Catholic University is testing the Dutch technology using volcanic earthquake-prone Ecuador as its laboratory, says its vice-rector. The local people love it. They love it so much that they were involved in the construction, the actual construction of the, of the uh, concrete section that we did as a test. When you imagine concrete, you think of something solid and inert. But with this project as a beginning, the world's most used building material could one day have properties which have a life of their own. Construction and nature have often been at odds. Now they're working together. Dan Collins, CCTV. Ecuador.